Have you ever wondered if the sun could power the whole world? It gives us 173,000 terawatts of energy every second. That's 10,000 times more than what we use. So why aren't we running everything on sunlight already? Let's start with how solar power works. A solar panel is made of many small units called solar cells. Most of them are made from silicon, one of the most common materials on Earth. Inside each cell, there are two layers. One has extra electrons, and the other has extra spaces for electrons, called holes. Where these layers meet, an invisible electric field forms. Now imagine sunlight as tiny particles called photons. When a photon hits the silicon, it knocks an electron loose. That freed electron wants to move, and the electric field gives it only one direction to go. The electrons rush through tiny wires, creating an electric current. That current can light up a bulb, charge a phone, or power a house. When the electrons finish their loop, they return to the panel, ready to go again. No fuel burned, no moving parts, just light doing the work. It sounds perfect, so what's the catch? For one, sunlight isn't the same everywhere. Some places are bright and sunny most of the year. Others are cloudy or dark for long stretches. At night, of course, the sun disappears entirely. So we'd need huge batteries or systems to move energy from sunny places to darker ones. There's another challenge too, efficiency. Even the best solar cells only turn about half the sunlight they get into power. Most panels today convert around 15 to 20 percent. The rest is lost as heat or light that bounces away. Still, the potential is massive. If we covered part of the world's deserts with solar panels, we could make enough power for everyone. The Sahara alone is over 3 million square miles, far more than we'd ever need. And things are improving fast. Solar panels are cheaper, stronger, and easier to build every year. Some even float on lakes or oceans. In many sunny countries, solar power is already cheaper and safer than kerosene or coal. So back to our first question, could the world ever run on sunlight alone? The answer is yes, not today, but someday soon. The sun gives us more than enough energy. We just have to learn how to catch it, store it, and share it. 